Lines this morning, women leading the way in aviation are honored every year during Oklahoma Women in Aviation and Aerospace Day. This year, a NASA astronaut who got her start here in Oklahoma was recognized for her incredible accomplishments. News 9's Jordan Ryan live in studio talking about those accomplishments and really advice for other women out there. Hey, yes. Ryan, Jordan. Oh my gosh, it is so exciting because we have a number of really inspiring women who have, of course, come through Oklahoma. Colonel Eileen Collins is one of them. She was the first woman to pilot the space shuttle and the first to command a space shuttle mission. She now has a book and a new mission to inspire the next generation. I had my start in Enid, Oklahoma back in 1978. I was in the first class of women to go through pilot training uh, up advance. There were four of us in uh, class uh, 7908. I have some very good memories. Her time in the military actually changes the course of history. We had to graduate, obviously, so we could get our wings and follow our dream. But the other thing that was going on is the test program for women in pilot training. So if we failed, it would close the door for future women. So we weren't just doing it for ourselves, but we were doing it for the generations of women to follow us. The mission a success. They ran this test program for about, and maybe it was three years, and they realized, hey, the women are doing great. They're doing just like the men. We're gonna stop the test program, and we're gonna start sending women through pilot training. Going on to become the first female pilot and first female commander of a space shuttle. Looking back at the Earth from space is the thing that I think I still carry with me today, how beautiful the Earth is from a distance. With a perspective that is out of this world, she has some advice for us all. So I like to use the quote about imagination from Albert Einstein, who said, imagination is more important than knowledge. Encouraging us to put down our phones and pick up a book. You can get out of the stresses of your everyday life by picking up a book and putting yourself in someone else's position and seeing how other people manage the stresses in their life. So whatever our mission is, we can consider it accomplished. And I think that's really one of the things that can help make a person successful is just know what your mission is and stay focused on that mission and try not to take the weight of the world on your shoulders. Well, if you want to learn more about Eileen, you can read her book Through the Glass Ceiling to the Stars, the story of the first American woman to command a space mission. For now, I'm Jordan Ryan for Oklahoma Zone News 9.